Hey guys, welcome to speech. Today, our lesson is about feelings. We are going to remind ourselves of how to look at other people's faces and figure out how they're feeling. And also read a book where we can practice identifying feelings called My Many Colored Days by Dr. Seuss. So first let's remind ourselves, how do we look at people's faces? and figure out how they're feeling. Remember, when you are looking at someone's face, you look at their eyes and their mouth, and you also listen to their voice to hear um, what their voice sounds like. And those, are, those will give you a lot of clues about how they're feeling. Let me show you a picture. Okay. Identifying feelings in order to read someone's facial expression and a facial expression is what they're doing with their face. We want to look at the big three. The big what? The big three. Eyebrows, eyes, and mouth. Eyebrows, eyes, and mouth. Let's make this smaller so we can see both of their faces. Okay. On this poster, you can see that these two kids have very different facial expressions. When you look at his big three, his eyebrows, his eyes, and his mouth, they look very different than hers. So his eyebrows are just kind of like a rainbow. His eyes are open really wide, and his smile is like this. His mouth is going up. So those are clues that you can guess that he's probably feeling pretty happy. But if you look at her face, something different. Her eyebrows are kind of coming together. Her eyes are looking down. And her mouth is this way, kind of like a frown. So you can guess that she probably feels, what do you think? Sad, disappointed, scared, embarrassed. All of those things could be feelings that, that she could be feeling. Back in speech, we used to look at these pictures. These pictures kind of give us, um, we can match them to feelings that we feel or other people feel. For instance, remember angry, annoyed, um, anxious. Anxious is another word for really worried. Oh, awkward. Oh, I feel uncomfortable. Bored, <sighs> calm, this person's taking deep breaths, hmm. concerned, hmm, I'm thinking about something and I'm wondering if something might happen. Confident means I know I can do it. A hey, cool means I'm ready to work. I feel great. Confused means I'm not sure I understand. Disappointed, discouraged, distracted, disgusted, embarrassed, enraged, enthusiastic, excited. <sighs> Frustrated, grossed out, bleh. guilty. I got in trouble and I feel bad. Happy, hopeful. Oh, I wonder if my plants will grow. Interested. Ooh, how are you doing? Jealous. Hmm, that's no fair. Lonely. Oh, I miss my friends. Nervous, uh, offended, hmm. I think that was mean. Panicked, ah, what's happening? Proud, I did a good job. Ah, everything's okay, relieved. <laughs> Sad, ah, ah, scared. <laughs> Silly. 
surprised. Uncomfortable. <laughs> Upset. Worried and <gasps> wow. Amazed, right? These are all feelings that we can feel. Let's see if these feelings match any of the feelings in our story. Like I said, it's called My Many Colored Days, and it's by Dr. Seuss. It's by Dr. Seuss. Some days are yellow, some are blue. On different days, I'm different too. You'd be surprised how many ways I change on different colored days. On bright red days, how good it feels to be a horse and kick my heels. On other days, I'm other things. On bright blue days, I flap my wings. So, when we're a horse, what do you think? Is that excited? And when we're a bright blue bird, that looks very relaxed and calm. Some days, of course, feel sort of brown. Then I feel slow and low, low down. So that could be a sad day, maybe. Then comes a yellow day, and wee! I am a busy, buzzy bee. Maybe an anxious, gray a day. Busy? Everything is gray. I watch, but nothing moves today. I think he looks a little bored. Then all of a sudden, I'm a circus seal. On my orange days, that's how I feel. Maybe a circus seal is kind of silly. Green days, deep, deep in the sea. Cool and quiet fish. That's me. It's very calm and cool. On purple days, I'm sad. I groan. I drag my tail. I walk alone. The dinosaur is sad and maybe a little lonely. But when my days are happy pink, it's great to jump and just not think. Those flamingos look really Then excited. come my black days, mad and loud. I howl, I growl at every cloud. They look enraged. Then comes a mixed up day and wham! I don't know who or what I am. Yeah, maybe you feel confused. But it all turns out all right, you see, and I go back to being me. And that was our story. You can see that emotions are not bad. Sometimes emotions are really big and sometimes emotions are really small. But feeling things is not a bad thing. We just have to make sure that we use our tools <laughs> One second. We need to use our tools in order to stay safe and in order to stay focused and ready to learn. So how are you feeling today? How do you, if you were looking in the mirror, what does your face look like? What do your eyebrows look like? And your eyes and your mouth? Are you feeling pretty calm and happy? Are you feeling kind of bored? Are you feeling kind of frustrated? Are you feeling really <clears throat> angry? All of these are feelings that we feel and they come and they go. 
and that, that's okay. So you can um, watch this video however many times you want to practice naming emotions. And maybe with a grown up in your house, you can read a book and use the feelings words to describe how a character feels. We did that when we read No David. We did that with The Wild Things. Those are just a couple books that you can read with a parent or watch on YouTube and talk about feelings. Have a great day. Talk to you soon. Goodbye.